earlier this year, last month, I put out a survey on my Twitter and here on my YouTube community page where I asked a bunch of questions to just get a feel about what my audience is currently like in the year of 2023. It was in some ways a way for me to gauge how people have been taking to and reacting to some of the new experiments that I have been trying here on the channel. And in that regard, I'd say that it has been a success. Like we did ask some simple questions like, how long have you been subscribed? How do you currently watch your anime? Or just in general, some demographic questions like your age and country of origin, which was just for interest's sake and is only really interesting on its own if you examine the country answers from the US. Because if you were from Canada, let's say, here under country of origin, you just wrote down Canada. Simple, right? If you're from Germany, you just wrote down Germany. It's easy. But if you were from the US, oh man, you guys have no unifying way to just tell people where you were from. It's all different. And we have to sort through it all. We got things like United States, US, the US, USA, United States of America, the United States of America, just America. Like from a data perspective, we had to sort through all of this and convert your answers to something more unified. Yes, I know that they all mean the same thing. It's all the same country. But why do I have to translate that? Why is the US so special to think that they can have 50 different ways of referring to their own country and the rest of us around the world just have to deal with it? Hell, some of you under country of origin just put down North America. That's not a country, that's a continent. So alongside, those questions. I also sneaked in there an extremely difficult question for most anime fans. I asked you what your favorite anime was, and I only let you write down one. If you tried to write down more than one, then we just took the first one that you wrote. Sorry, but that's just how it goes. And I know that for some people, this is an agonizing question. It's very difficult to actually sit down and pick one. But I also know that for other people, this is an extremely easy question, one that you can answer without even really thinking about it. And I wanted to know what those answers were. I wanted to know what you would be willing to say in a survey about your favorite anime, because a lot can be gleaned from that one simple answer. So today, we're gonna be examining your answers. But first, normally, I do like to, in these videos, shout out the supporters of this channel over on Patreon, and thank you all for your generous support, which still stands but I also felt guilty about doing such a thing in a video where I am essentially judging you all for your choices. So I did not think it would be fair to put that much emphasis on it in this particular video. That's why we would like to thank the sponsor for this video today, The Good Smile Company, and their mobile game, Grand Summoners. Like some of the shows we may talk about today that take place in other worlds, Grand Summoner sees you in the role of a newbie adventurer and summoner who befriends allies to fight against various demons and foes. The game offers a dynamic system reminiscent of the old active time battle systems from console RPGs, except this time, on your phone. You can use items, special attacks, and there's even customizable prep that you can do by cooking your units a delicious meal before combat that they can take with them to buff their stats. But one thing that Grand Summoners likes to boast about, however, is frequent collaborations with popular anime titles, offering you the chance to summon your favorite anime characters and use them in the game. And at this exact moment, they are currently running a collaboration with the anime and manga franchise, That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime bringing in Rimuru, Mirimu, Benimaru, and Shion as playable characters to summon. This event includes an original-only story that sees these characters arrive in the world of the game and help you on your journey, possibly even in holiday-themed outfits. But unlike Rimuru, you don't need to get stabbed and reincarnated to experience this fantasy world. Instead, all you need to do is follow the link in the description to download your copy of Grand Summoners, available for both Android and iOS. If you act fast and get through the current event, you can even summon the five-star slime Rimuru for free. Guaranteed, as long as you complete the event. But hey, even if you don't make it all the way through the event, over on the Grand Summoner's official Twitter account, they are running a bunch of promotions for some official Tensuda merch for a limited time. So thank you very much to the Good Smile Company for sponsoring the video. Now, let's get back to it. Now, to start off, I figured that we could go all the way down to the bottom, all the way down. But then I thought about it for a moment and things got sidetracked because remember, you could have written anything in this spot. It didn't have to be true. I'm not holding it against you. 
This was, for all intents and purposes, an anonymous survey. You didn't have to attach an email or a Twitter handle to your answers. I cannot identify who these people that we're going to be talking about are, but I was trusting that they would be honest with me when there is actually nothing holding them to be honest. They could have gone out of their way to name some avant-garde, well-known elitist anime to sound cultured, like, I don't know, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Sometimes I, I have wondered if I do cultivate a kind of elitism in my audience, because people do take my recommendations seriously. Thank you very much. And even though I don't like the position, one could argue that I am a gatekeeper for my fans. But if that's true, then we're all just a bunch of elitist dicks because spoilers, Full Metal Alchemist is really high up on this list and it's one of the most watched anime in all of North America. So if my audience is elitist, so is every fan ever. But also spoilers, 17 people put down Legend of the Galactic Heroes as their favorite anime of all time that they love over any other, which means that 17 of you are liars. Okay, I, I think that's being a little unfair. I'm sure that at least one of you actually believes that it is your favorite and you watch it religiously. Uh, another 11 of you probably never actually watched it, but saw that it's been in the top 10 most like anime of all time on my anime list since that website's existence and figured that you could probably just feign favoritism to make yourself sound cooler and reap the benefits without having actually spent the time to watch the show. And maybe the last five of you are just saying that it is your favorite in order to justify the time that you spent watching the nearly 46 hours of content that is that show, even if you didn't actually enjoy the experience. It's like people who say that their favorite anime is One Piece. It's probably not because it's actually their favorite or the show that they have enjoyed the most out of all that they have watched, but they have committed so much time to watching the damn thing that to say that it is not their favorite makes it just sound like they have wasted their whole life away when they could have just read the manga instead in a fraction of the time and still be caught up on discussions. Fun fact, One Piece is eighth overall on the favorites lists for my fans, which just goes to show it's power because I have never recommended or spoken about One Piece all that much on this channel, at least nowhere near enough to give the people the impression that I want you to go out and watch its adaptation. So that's not on me again. Just read the manga. But the bottom of the list is interesting because this is where shows that only have a single vote are located, where you either have, yes, those people who want to sound more important and well-watched than they actually are, or just some very brave and passionate souls who have choice taste. At the bottom, we have a whole bunch of shows with only one vote each. Uh, shows like Hack Sign, Girls in Panzer, Flip Flappers, No Game, No Life, and Demon Slayer. Hold up, hold up. Demon Slayer? Do you guys know how much money Demon Slayer has made? How many copies of its manga and its Blu-rays that it's sold worldwide? How many people went out of their way to go watch its film, Mugen Train, in April of 2021, when not many people were willing to go to a physical theater and only one of you put it down as your favorite anime of all time? That's surprising. Good for you, one person. Be honest with the shonen that you watch, even if it's probably just the new hotness and doesn't have the, the same grandiose quality of the other shows that have been around longer. But seriously though, Demon Slayer, one person? To put this in greater context, all right? Two people in this survey voted for Mysterious Girlfriend X as their favorite anime of all time. 50% more people in my audience admitted to favoring the anime about a busty short hair who gets a boyfriend because she has addictive spit and a regular tendency to give out carnival themed hallucinatory dreams than a franchise that has grossed over $8 billion since its debut in 2016. Yeah, to be fair, I'd probably rewatch Mysterious Girlfriend X over Demon Slayer 2, so I guess that tracks. You move up the list though. This is where I start to get uh, a, a little bit more emotional because the middle section is where I truly see the chance that the reason that this answer is here is because of a video that I made. Like for example, people very rarely talk about Planetes on YouTube. It is not a, a series either in its manga form or anime form that people have discussed much even when it came out. It did get a boost of notoriety because it was written by the same guy who later went on to write Vinland Saga. So the popularity of that show did in some way reach Planetes, but since 
my video about Planetess has been around for over a decade on the internet, I'd like to believe that if you think Planetess is your favorite anime of all time, then you've seen my video about it. Not necessarily in the order that it is your favorite because of my video. I I'm not that self-important. But more than likely, you watched Planetess, enjoyed it, and wanted to see what other people thought. And that is why you are here now. So thank you to the people who listed Planetess as your favorite anime. Coincidentally, it's the same amount of people who also voted for Vinland Saga, which I'm surprised at. I thought more people would have voted for that considering it's, uh, it's newness. Sometimes though, while looking through these results, like I see uh, little messages next to the titles because uh, those people wanted to specify that it was me that sent them down that journey. Like four people, four people in this survey said that great teacher Onizuka was their favorite anime with one saying, thanks to Glass Reflection. Oh, damn. It feels so good when people actually take my more obscure recommendations seriously and then get rewarded for it. I don't joke about these things, you guys. Like Snow White with the red hair, right? Is a show that I haven't made an individual video on, right? But it was included in my best anime of the decade video and has, according to the survey, the same amount of fans in my audience as Sword Art Online. Chihaya is there too! In my audience, just as many people are likely to say that their favorite anime is Aria, Tatami Galaxy, Nana, and Serial Experiments Lane, as they are to say that their favorite anime of all time is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What? If you are in my audience, you have the same likelihood to say that your favorite anime was my favorite anime from 2018, Laidback Camp, except it's your favorite anime of all time, you're just as likely to say Laidback Camp as you are Spice and Wolf, Overlord, Toradora, and the place further than the universe. That last one I'm actually surprised is not even higher than that, considering that I do very regularly get people to ask me, hey, what is that anime on the wall scroll that's been behind you the last several years? Yeah, it's place further than the universe. Go watch it. In my audience, you are just as likely to say that Fooly Cooly is your favorite as you would to say uh, Kaguya-sama or Trigun. You are just as likely to have March Comes In as a Lion as your favorite anime as you are to say that Berserk is your favorite anime. You are just as likely to say that Maruka is your favorite as you were to say Death Note or Psychopaths. But eventually we do get into the top 25 anime within my own audience, circa 2023. An interesting fact, out of the 25 of those, I have not made a video about three of them. Two of which we've already mentioned. Legend of the Galactic Heroes is in the top 25, surprise. One Piece is number eight, we already mentioned that. And Gintama is at 16, with one person who actually wrote Gintama followed by easiest question ever. Oh, if only more people agreed with you, then it would be even higher. Like I always wanted to get around to talking about Gintama because I did binge a whole bunch of it back in the day, but then I got stuck thinking this really stupid thought where I could only make a video if I had seen all of it and I never had time to finish it. So it just got forever backburnered. I need to stop thinking those stupid thoughts. But here is a question for you. Here's what I want you to do actually. Before I reveal to you what the top 10 anime are among my fans, I want you to guess what those top 10 anime are and then post it down in the comments. I already gave you the freebie by saying that One Piece is number eight in the top 10. You get that point for free. But what are the rest of the top 10? What's in the top five? So pause the video, write down your guesses on a piece of paper or a notepad document in another monitor or somewhere else, and then come back, okay? And welcome back. At number 10, oh, thank God, thank God, this got some recognition within my audience. Number 10, it's Fruits Basket. I am so happy that some people within my audience actually do enjoy Fruits Basket and would put it in a top 10 list, unlike, you know, freaking anime awards that still never gave the best VA award to Laura Bailey, despite the fact that her Toru is the, like the greatest thing ever. At number nine, not surprising that this is on the list somewhere, Full Metal Alchemist, 2003. A lot of people had to specify that. Number eight, One Piece. We've already talked about that. We've already mentioned that. Number seven, and I actually expected this one to be higher, Attack on Titan. And I expected this to be higher, similar to why I also thought number six, Code Geass would be higher. And that is because Code Geass, very specifically, has a little bit of a story. When I've gone to conventions, I very, very often get people coming up to me and say that their favorite anime of all time is Code Geass because specifically of my video. 
almost always Code Geass, that one specifically. That said, if your favorite anime is your favorite anime because of a video that I made and you ever meet me in real life, like at a con, please come up and tell me. I guarantee you it'll be one of the highlights of my day alongside potentially everybody else that's gonna do the exact same thing now. But still, I love hearing that. It always perks me up and makes me feel a lot better about myself, especially like if maybe I'm nervous about a panel or something, always great. But now we move into the top five. Number five, which, <laughs> thank God, oh, this makes me feel better. Made in Abyss. And I hope some of you didn't just put this here because I have stated multiple times that Made in Abyss is my current favorite anime of all time. But perhaps not, because depending on which videos of mine you have watched, you may still think that Shirobako is my favorite of all time, as it was my favorite for a good while, but only two people put Shirobako as their favorite, so I don't think that's true. Good for you, you two people. I like your style. Number four, the classic Cowboy Bebop. Not a surprise, because if you were to search up on the internet, what is the best anime of all time? I bet you would have to look quite hard and for a while without finding a, a list that did not mention Bebop, assuming it did not top that list to begin with. Number three within my audience, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Interesting things here is, is first of all, I don't know who you are, but you wrote down that Evangelion was your favorite and that it was your favorite because it was the first anime that you watched. And I'm bringing this up. I am singling you out, mystery person, because I fundamentally disagree with your reasoning. here. It is fine to be proud that e Eva was your first anime, right? And you can, in many different ways, say that you enjoyed your experience so much that then you went and watched out so many more anime because of it. But I am a firm believer that my next favorite anime is always just around the corner or it already exists, but I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet because I never want to think that the best anime, my favorite anime of all time, is one that I've already watched because then that just makes everything downhill from there. And it's a depressing thought, but I suppose you do you. It's just something that's been lodged in my head since I, I read that, so I had to get it, get it out there. But the other interesting thing about Ava here is that anyone who wrote down Evangelion just wrote down Evangelion. Like they may have shortened it to Ava or NGE, but no one went out of their way to specify Rebuild of Evangelion. Now, I know for many people, Rebuild is more like a sequel in many ways than a separate show, even though it does fully retell the original. Unlike some other anime though, where people do go out of their way to specify which version of their favorite, this is not one of them. And I found that surprising. But you know what other show people like specifying which version absolutely is their favorite. Number two, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So many of you absolutely could not stand to just not clarify which Full Metal Alchemist you enjoyed. I mean, there were a couple of you, right, who tried to specify that you watched and enjoyed them both, but so many more had to put down the Brotherhood. So much so that some of you had to do it in all caps. But finally we get to Number one. Now, I have to specify that if right now you think you know what it is, because it is an anime that I have not mentioned at all in this video, and you have actually a very good chance of guessing what it is by just using the process of elimination. But I did want to say that when I actually wrote down my own idea of what the top five would be, not only did I do it without actually looking at the rest of the list so I couldn't use process of elimination like you guys are doing, but I, in my folly, decided to let the views on my own videos be my guide, thinking that the most popular videos on my channel would also mean that they are the most popular anime within my audience. Not true. I mean, I did correctly guess that Code Geass and Made in Abyss were up there, but like I thought that Geass would be in the top five along like SAO and Titan. And I mean, if you look at the highest watched videos on my channel, ignoring the, the large list videos and that one Spy Family short that popped off last year, still don't know how the hell that worked out. I did not actually have bad guesses based on that criteria. But then I just felt terrible. I felt like the worst arbiter of my own fandom when I did not even think to consider that you all would list more than any other Steinsgate as your favorite anime overall. I mean, I love the series and I speak about it highly, but I also speak highly about Abyss and that only made fifth place, so who knows sometimes? Yes, Steinsgate, not Steinsgate Zero. No one went out of their way to specify that series. 
It's almost like we all try to forget that Zero was even a thing. Probably undeserved, but still. But the mayhem of the mad scientist himself was king among my own audience. And honestly, that being in first place, hell, the entire top 10 is something for me to be proud of. Sure, would I personally have swapped a number of those 10 out for others? Yes. Like, Clan Ad After Story only made it up to like 25, though I, I do worry that some of the people who just wrote Clan Ad meant all of Clan Ad and not just season one. But I guess for some shows, people don't feel the need to clarify which version that they like, unlike Brotherhood. But then again, even if you go back and actually combine the votes of Clan Ad and After Story, that still only bumps its place up to like 12 tied with Gurren Lagann above Violet Evergarden and then just below Mob Psycho. But if I did that, then, then it would be my list, not yours. And I've constantly said at the start of my own list videos that if you don't like what I put on a list, then you can go and make your own list. And this has essentially been that. And while yes, I would swap out a few, I don't by and large disagree with this list. Yeah, down in the bottom, some of you have some interesting taste to say the least, but you do not have bad taste. So I can proudly say that my audience, circa 2023, does not have bad taste in anime. And as a recommender of anime, that makes me feel great overall. <sighs> I'm just trying to soak all of that in because I know that if I ever do this again, now that I've made this video discussing the results, that not an insignificant amount of people are going to now come together and vote for like Boku no Pico or something next time just to screw with me. And that is it for our show today. I hope that you actually participated in this survey and don't feel entirely left out. And if you do, maybe we'll do this again sometime. And you can keep a lookout for that if you subscribe to the channel. So subscribe if you haven't, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and until next time, watch more great anime and stay frosty.